What advice do you have for organizations which are you know, in the early stages of their observability adoption journey that they should you know, kind of have right path when it comes to observability? Well, first of all, to me, there's best practices. That's basically the question on how whenever you write an application, what kind of information do you want and do you need to expose? You expose too much, you create noise. So we had one implementation of Postgres where we've emitted accidentally so so many pieces of information per time unit that you basically, it was like looking into the sun. So whenever you connect it to an endpoint, storing the data, you would flood this data immediately. So it's, it's, it's making those choices, like what exactly do you need and for which purpose? <clears throat> What's the right granularity of information to expose? And, um, and what are the use cases that, that these pieces of information actually supports. So for example, if you run a Postgres with asynchronous streaming replication, the replication lake is interesting for you because it's a vulnerability of that, of that approach. And uh, so monitoring it is, is something obvious to do. And if you run databases, you know, having a, a parachute, for example, that avoids flooding a disk, so making the, the VMs uh, unresponsible, is also a low-hanging fruit. So you need to take care of that. So it's a mixture between, you know, best practices but also getting the tooling right, so exposing the right pieces of information with uh, with an idea on why you would expose it. What are the use cases you would like to enable? It's just blindly finding pieces of information is creating noise has no purpose. But making that information uh, accessible with uh, use cases in mind is 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 more meaningful. 